Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Elisa's Eats. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make a really simple but delicious recipe, mozzarella sticks. They are just such a lovely and easy thing to make for a party. They're so delicious and cheesy and garlicky and Moorish. You're just gonna, everyone's just gonna attack you for them. It's great. They'll, they'll love you for them, let's put it that way. <laughs> Not attack you. So these are the ingredients you're going to need. Woo! Three quarter cup to one cup of plain flour, four extra large eggs and half a cup of thickened cream, two cups of normal breadcrumbs and about three quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, two and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, about three quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. I'm using a 24 month old aged Parmesan and then about 450 to 500 grams of dry mozzarella and hard mozzarella, oil for frying, salt and pepper to taste, some tomato sauce or marinara sauce to serve, and some fresh parsley. Now, what I like about this recipe is I actually form all the mozzarella sticks the night before, keep them in the freezer until the next day, then I just put them in the deep fryer and serve them. It's such an easy recipe. You're gonna love them. Let's get started. So what we're going to do first is mix up all of our dredging ingredients. Dredging is when you put something into a wet mixture and then a dry mixture. So for our dredging ingredients, for our eggs, we're going to whisk them together, then add in thickened cream and a bit of salt and pepper to taste. Then with our breadcrumbs, we're going to put the panko with the normal breadcrumbs and then our Italian seasoning and garlic powder. I'm then going to put these into a shallower dish because it's easier to roll them in. Then finally, we're gonna add our Parmesan cheese to the breadcrumbs. Now, I said three quarters of a cup. I just keep going until I'm happy. There's no limit. The limit does not exist. Now carefully cut your mozzarella cheese into finger-like slices, about a couple centimeters thick. I aim for about one and a half to two centimeters thick. About the width of my finger. So now what I'm going to do is take one of my slices of cheese, roll it around in the plain flour, then I'm going to dredge it in my egg and cream mixture, then I'm gonna place it in my breadcrumbs and press it onto the cheese. I'm not just gonna roll it, you need to press it on there. Now, you might notice parts of it don't stick well, that's why we're going to double dredge it. So you go from the breadcrumbs straight back into the egg mixture, then back into my breadcrumbs, Press it together and it should look like this. So these are the last of my mozzarella sticks. Some are already in the freezer. Um, you get about 20 to 24 of them, depending on how you cut your cheese. And we're going to place the remaining ones into the freezer in a Ziploc bag for at least three to four hours. I typically do them overnight just because it's easier the next day to cook them. Um, and this just helps really set the shape of the mozzarella sticks because if you were to fry them now, they'd kind of fall apart. I mean, you can try if you want to. I wouldn't advise it. Well, that's just me. rest at room temperature for about five to seven minutes or so. Then we're going to deep fry it in some oil. Let's go. Get your oil up to 190 degrees Celsius or about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't have a thermometer for your oil, you can also get a wooden chopstick or a skewer and place it into the oil. If bubbles rapidly come out of it, it's typically at a good temperature to fry and you're gonna cook them until they're nice and golden brown. You can also double fry them if you want them to be nice and crispy too. Now, ideally I'd like to use a metal slotted spoon. We just moved so I can't find it. So I'm gonna use some tongs. Once they're cooked, place them on a wire cooling rack over some paper towel to absorb any extra oil. If you don't have a wire cooling rack, that's fine. Just get the extra oil off. This just helps keep them nice and crispy. You don't wanna to add too many of these frozen mozzarella sticks in because it'll drop the temperature of the oil and then they can get soggy and less brown. So I would recommend about doing four at a time and then we're going to serve them. I'm so excited. Yeah.
Okay guys, so that's how you make my cheesy mozzarella sticks. They're so quick and easy and they smell amazing. I know Flavia's absolutely drooling because she loves anything cheesy. So let's eat. Come on, chicken. I don't think you've ever actually, have you had mozzarella sticks before? I've never had mozzarella sticks in my life. Okay, now hold I'm up. ready to be cheesy. They, they're gonna be hot. Okay. But you kind of put, oh. Oh, oh, oh my that steam. God. Oh my goodness, oh my God. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. It's, it's a lot of cheese. Oh my god. Mm. But do you taste the garlic and the herbs? Oh yeah, yeah. I do. That is that wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. That is that mm. is freaking great. I know. Um because we double coat it, it has that beautiful garlicky herbiness to it. Then you just dip it with some like tomato sugo or something like that. Oh my god. Again, people will fight you for this. Like, you know what I mean? When I said they'll love you, they'll attack you, they will attack you. Because it's so good, don't attack me. That is amazing. I'm, I know. I might attack you. I'm getting, I know, right? Ready. Mm. <laughs> it's oh. so good. Oh. oh.